Well, well, well. Bravo, guys. You guys really did it. I asked when I put this video up, can we get to 1,000 likes in the first 24 hours? You all did it. And as promised, if you all were able to do that, I would drop the jump shot. You all not only did it, but let's see if we can get the actual numbers. You exceeded it. We are now at 1,001 likes in real time. That's where we are when I'm making this video. 1,001 likes. If you haven't checked that video out, go check the video out. We're talking about Mike Wong talking about changing dribbling and taking the park size up side of the game. We're talking about Tassino saying that too many whites are falling uh, in the game right now. And we're also talking about how NBA 2K Lab put some data together to show you guys how they've sabotaged us non-shooters. Now, to me, 70 is not a bad rating, but we're going to get into all of that, man. But if you go, go watch that video, you'll understand exactly why people are mad. But the gist of the video is we're hitting 25% of perfectly timed shots. That's why you're here. You're here because your jump shot is broke, just like mine was until I started using this jump shot. Take this from a non-shooting beer. Don't listen to a play shot or a sharpshooter tell you, this is the best jump shot. This is this. I could cut it with my 70, so I went and made another bill, and now he's with plus 80, and now I'm a great shooter. No, don't listen to them guys, man. Listen to your boy. I'm rocking with this bill. I'm not rocking with nothing else this year until you know I get him rolling. And I got a non-shooter. And I got the best jump shot for you guys right now. So leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And let's get right into it. Vito! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. All right, sorry for the long ass introduction, guys. But if you made it through that long ass introduction, we're going to go ahead and show you the jump shot right off the bat. I don't like to, I don't want to, you know, lead you guys. I don't show you anything, any of that other stuff like that. I want you guys to see the jump shot, and then we're going. I'm not going to just show you some clips or a series of three plays that I was able to put together, any of that. We're going to give you the jump shot. This is it right here. Um, and if you can do math, you already know, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell y'all what it is. Base, Marquise Chris. This, this is what big men can use. Um, you can use some other bases. To me, this is one of the best bases that big men and non-shooting bills can use. Kobe Bryant as the first, uh, release is a uh, 75%. Rudy Gay, 25%. The bending speed, I say put it on one from the top because everybody knows that this one is glitched. It's pretty damn broken. And are we leaving? Be quiet, Alexa. And and um, are we leaving the shot meter on? You're damn right. I'm leaving the shot meter on for, for two reasons. Number one, because I shoot with the shot stick. Number two, NBA 2K Lab. If you watch that video, go back and watch the video. Leave a like on that video. Leave a like on this video. And tell me what base you've been using and, and what jump shots you, you can use and stuff right now that you feel like is really good that's working for you. Also, give me some releases because even though Kobe Bryant and Rudy Gay is pretty consistent for me, I'm always open to you guys' feedback. So make sure you do that. Leave it down in the comment section. Tell me what you've been rocking with. Let me know if this helped you out and all of that good stuff. So, um, like I said, I'm using I'm using Kobe Bryant and Rudy Gay just because it's a smooth release and it's the best thing that I can find right now. I tried to find Paul George. I've not found a shot that I could use with Paul George just yet. But it's still early, and uh, like I said, you gotta leave that shot meter on because 2K Lab says if you have a, if you've got a 70 or below rating, then um, then there, there's no need to turn it off. Uh, 75 or below, just leave it on because you're not getting a boost. You might get a boost, it's not significant. But anyway, this is the shot. It's nice and smooth, and it's uh, it's almost Paul George esque. It's just like. It's, it's like you can, you, as soon as he turns his hand over, you do it. Unfortunately, you have to pay a lot of attention to shooting this year. You can't just shoot the basketball like you want to. Now, with this shot, if you're having trouble, m let the ball hit his hands first before you press the button. If you press square before the ball hits his hands, you're going to have some issues. It's going to be off. You're gonna get a bad cue and all that. So please, if it doesn't work for you, concentrate on this. When the ball hits his hands, 
that's when you want to hit uh, hit square and let it go. If you use the shot stick, it's really the same thing. I use the shot stick, so that's what I do. I, I press the button and let it go at, um, uh, as soon as the ball hits his hand. You see how it's already damn near center? That's how I do it. On this side, when it gets to the back of his head, it's a little bit faster on the right side, but when it gets to the back of his head is when you really want to let it go. Um, that's 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 what I've seen is the cue. The crazy thing is with so much lag in the parks and stuff, bro, it's hard to even it is hard to even figure out what jump shot is good and what isn't. And until they open up the green windows, which they're going to have to do because you can't leave this game like this. It's not just for people that play and think they fake comp players like me. For people that don't even like to play the game like that and all they want to do is uh just get on with their buddies and have a little good time. Yo, you can't leave it like this, man, because people like, like, they say don't change the game for bums, but YouTubers are not paying the bills. Bums are paying the bills. Bums get on this game and make 15,000 different bills to try to be able to compete. Bums go into my career and 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 spend all the money and do all of that stuff in, in my team and my GM and all that and spend all the money and rack up the VC and buy all the boosts and do everything that the YouTube's did. Bums support the game. So they have to go with the casuals. Now I know I did mention being in Shot Stick Gang. Um, you know, if you don't if you want to be part of Shot Stick Gang, but you don't want to do this, I don't recommend doing this, but you can go turn your meter off. If you turn your meter off, you can now shoot with the shot stick and you can press the left trigger to to let it go. But since you're not getting the boost from turning it off, like I said, I, I noticed it almost immediately. Since you're not getting the boost at this low level uh, for turning it off, I don't I don't recommend doing it. But you can just you can get it a uh, hold down on the stick and then when you think it's time for you to let go, you can pull you can pull uh, left trigger. I mean, it works, but. I, I, I don't feel like the timing because it's, it's just weird because I think I'm pulling it a little faster or what have you. So that's why I don't recommend doing it. But this will let you be, you know, part of all the shot stick action. I say, to hell with that. <laughs> Leave your shot meter on, just like 2K Lab says. And, uh, you know, just just leave it on because we already got low jump shots. And, uh, you know, we I need all the help I can get right now. And because I aim and I use the shot stick, that's why. Now, if you want to become an official part of the shot stick game, then what you need to do is go back and watch my last video. My last video, I gave you guys everything as far as how to use the shot stick. Um, it's actually, it should say something about the shot stick in there. So you should be able to check that out. Also, make sure you get your badge and get your hot spots, man. Because I'm telling you, out there in that park, it is almost impossible to shoot the basketball if you don't. And honestly, guys, that's all to it. You got a jump shot, showed you how to use it. I showed you what the cues were. Just, only thing I'm asking is, leave a like on the video, man. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let me know if this helped you out. It may, I'm not going, I'm telling you, it's, it's going to help you out in my career. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that any one jump shot is going to help you out in the park or anywhere else. If anybody tells you that, they're lying. Because there's no jump shot there's go you oh, you want to know you want me to show you how you can improve your jump shot hold on one second we got a we got a couple minutes let me show you let me show you if the only surefire way to improve your jump shot and make it so that you are the best shooter in NBA 2K history or whatever you want to be a top shooter in 2K and and you want a jump shot to do this let me show you what you have to do first I'm gonna show you this and then I'm gonna let y'all get up out of here this is you do go to my career start a new one launch the my player builder okay make whatever position you want to it doesn't matter Allen Iverson choose look at this number right here you said 3.95 yeah choose that this right here mm -mm, that's like Drake no mm -hmm. this right here 3.79 that might get it done choose one of these pie charts preferably this one with the most green okay choose one choose a build with those pie charts and uh make a build <laughs> make a build out of that if you really want to if you really want to light it up and think you want to choose this one right here okay choose that pie chart all the speed and turn it all the way up turn it up the rest of your stats don't even matter get your 30 badges and and do this this will i guarantee you if you do this you'll be one of the top shooters in 2k right here my boy
Not even gonna cap. Put that defense on. Uh, just do this right here. Steal all the way up. You can lead block down. Turn the defense and rebound it up. You got some bad, but we still got badges. You got nine defensive badges. And then whatever else we, we whatever else you do, you just put it in, just put it in ball handling. Boom. Boom. Uh, six, five, right there. Uh, minimum, minimum weight. Boom, boom. And choose that takeover right there. And my boy, you have made the best shooter in 2K. Sharpshooter. Now, now, it doesn't matter what jump shot you pick. So do that. It sounds like my PlayStation about to take off in this bitch because it's so much, it's so much firepower locked into this guy. It sounds like my PlayStation about to take off. But anyway, if you do this and then, you know, start my career, skip it. Do that right there, and I guarantee you become one of the best shooters in 2K history. It won't matter what jump shot you use. And then I guarantee my jump shot will work. But what I'm saying all that to say this, no jump shot is going to make you just be able to hit. You're going to have to be able to hit this year. Use that jump shot. I promise you it'll make you better. It's got the highest make percentage by NBA 2K Labs, the best green window by 2K Labs so far for big and non-shooting bills. I mean, it's, it's, it's probably the best that we got right now. I will keep making more for you. I just want to let you know, if it don't hit like you want it to, it'll definitely raise your percentage, but you're not going to be shooting 70% like them other guys just because those other guys, bro, they're not like us. We different. Dare to be different. Dare to be bold. Dare to be yourself. Get your badges. Go get your hot spots. Come out here and dominate. Dominate on three. Dominate on me. Hands in. One, two, three. Dominate. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Got speak. Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn. Please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn because I ain't fine. I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga. I can give a heart transplant to a giant. I ain't lying. God speak. God speak. God speak. God speak. We good.